How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Paper Queen Inn. I'm Ikuta Nui, and thank you guys for waiting for me to come back live as we're now back here in town. How's it going, everybody? It is so good to see you guys again. Today is a Thursday. Things are getting colder, and Kid Rarity Clown, hi! Welcome back! Welcome back! I thought yesterday was your last stream. No, no, tomorrow would potentially be my last stream for um, this following week. And then it's gonna be like a two weeks of vacation from this point on. Uh, hi there, Mickey, how are you? I am doing all right, although things are starting to get really colder here as of late. I am starting to wear more of my jacket more lately out here. My avatar may not show it, but I'm actually wearing myself a nicely warm hooded jacket, if you will. I got a four day I got a four street. That's great. That's really great. I'm happy for you, demonic design. But yeah, I really am happy to see you guys here again. Um, let's see. Today is gonna be ourselves our another uh, gonna be an art stream and um. Aw, thanks for the head pad. Thank you. I'm just gonna pretend I got that head pad. I've been trying to figure out how to make that thing work in this segment here. <laughs> but anyway, um, I got a gift subby for, for, for uh, at another streamer last night. That's good. That's really good. I'm happy for you. Well, today is going to be a art stream commission day, and we are gonna be doing ourselves a different commission this time around instead of doing shads. So why don't we actually go ahead and get to the podium real fast and loose. Okay, and I'm gonna unsteffen. There we go. Hi there, Jay. Hello there. All right. About time you, about time you undeafened yourself. Well, I like to actually greet the chat first before I actually undeafen and get into the uh, other side of the end. All right. That's okay. That's purely fine. Now I am going to go into my client's messages. Because today we're actually going to be doing ourselves a commission, which is not the one that I did last week that I did for Shads. This time we are going to be doing um, a commission for someone in Twitter called Class, Tr class President. Who Just wants Class President? Well, basically, yeah. And this okay. is gonna be their character that they want me to draw. Who is um okay, open image. I'm gonna take a wild I'm gonna take a wild guess and say they are a a a class president for school. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Now they want me to actually do something big for this commission, and it's going to be a reference sheet commission but so we are actually going to start off by doing a dynamic pose for her following followed by doing the um the back the front and back poses and other details that come with between so, so after all it's the it's the dynamic pose i'm gonna draw first so why don't we actually go ahead and do that huh it's how I actually work when it comes to my system. When it comes to this, and now I do you know if the hmm? do you know if your commissioner made that themselves or? I had a strong feeling it may be used by something else, which I refuse to say its name. So we are actually gonna draw yeah, our own same. depiction. We are actually gonna draw our own depiction. She said, according to my client, they said that this one has a blunt, reserved, sassy, analytical, and easy. For their personality, it says blunt, reserved, sassy, analytical, gets easily annoyed, but laid back. I'm gonna say a that bit of a that feels like a bit of a contradiction there. Slight. So we're gonna try our best to actually do our hand with this, but I'm gonna try the best of my ability to get this pose just about right for this character. Managed to watch the Eunice video I, I sent? Not yet, boy splatty, but I am going to try my best to do that later tonight. Um, probably around on my break time before I get to the, um, the Mario campaign later tonight. So, Which, speaking of, I'm speaking of, I'm actually working on assets for that as we speak. Oh, neat. Uh, so let's see. So, basically, it's tsundere. You know what? That is actually the 
basic premise what it's in that it is. Not that music. Um, I was, uh, okay, carrying on. Where's my tavern? Golem, play me my tavern beats. Thank you. Okay. All right, so let's see. Oh, Rocky Steen, hi, welcome, welcome into the Paper Plate Inn. Drop me in mind and briefly say, ho um, hope you have a good one. Well, thank you so very much, Rocky Steen. It's so good to see you here. Feel free to come by any time you like, okay? We're gonna be doing ourselves a, um, we're gonna draw our best, or try our best to draw, um, her, the, the base pose followed by the refined pose. I mean, we're gonna draw ourselves a pose, which will count as the, um, we're gonna try our best to draw, um, draw the pose, as well as the rough sketch, and then afterwards we're gonna get ourselves the refined sketch, then we'll get to do the line art, and then flat colors from today, uh, after today. Okay, so... I wish I actually had time to do this last night, but, um... A lot of things that kind of happened last night. That and also my drive is pretty much on the low end. As well as, um... We just kind of had, um... A bit of a wild adventure when it comes to the Spelljammer campaign last night. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Hmm? I can understand having motivation just kind of tank, especially with, uh unforeseen circumstances. No, more like I was actually caught up with doing some researching last night, but also feeling the um, the energy that happened since last night's game. I mean, I'm, I'm free. I wouldn't mind telling you um, how it went. Sure. So, okay, so. Bruh. Uh, well, raging on it, why would you bruh at me? Look, last night we were having fun when it comes to the Spelljammer campaign. If you actually let me explain, you'll understand why, you know? And I think that bruh might be slightly unwarranted. Yeah, don't judge until you, uh, until you hear it. Yeah. <clears throat> Suddenly I'm having... Um, I imagine this music playing Golem having an old vinyl recorder in their chest, and he's just... Yeah, it don't be like that, though. It <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> now, the Spelljammer campaign last night. Okay, so this Spelljammer campaign takes place um, after the module of the um, Light of Xerixius campaign. So anything beyond that point is basically just um, homebrew content. So we had decided to, so we decided to go into the, the place that is called um, the Temple of the Old, the, li um, the Ancient Library of the Old Gods. Which actually is the, um, the resting point. Okay, this volume is a little bit loud. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so this, we, our party has to go into a rescue mission into this place that's called the Library of the Old Gods. Which is kind of a contradictory because this is a place where old gods kind of go to die. And, um... And, and our party member's um, friend is in this place and is in a, um, a life-threatening situation, which is why one of the, uh, which is why we have to go on this rescue mission in order to save him. Anyways, we did, we went further into the library, this ancient library, which is basically um, Egyptian-based because our the characters, um, the character who's in charge whose plot belongs to is actually based on a Yu-Gi-Oh character, but anyways, <clears throat> we went into this library, but it is rifled with um, undead foes who seeks to defile it and seek to the divines, seek to consume the divine sparks that is um, left in this, that is left from the remains of the old gods. And, um, we went as far to actually defeat um, these undead enemies. But we are actually dreading for what's to come after we last left off in our campaign. And that is that, um, where we had to go it, and that is where we had to do, um, uh, fight, fight against something that is the remains of a night, um, that is created by the nightmares of a beholder. Oh, dang. Yes. A, 
This is an actual creature from the, the from the uh, from the um, release sources, where um, where if a beholder actually um, it, um, gets visions of its death, its fears become so real that it brought them to life, and these kind of creatures are called death tyrants, which is basically um. Where is he? Ah, yes! Oh, you don't want... So you're... Okay, it's this kind of... Um, please, can I copy the image so I can share this to the class? This kind of monstrosity! And if you find this in your table, I hope that you're strong enough to actually tackle this heaping monstrosity over here! Oh, dang. Yeah! I mean, fighting this thing is no joke terrifying at first because our DM has to release legendary actions upon legendary actions to the towards the party when we finally reach to the chamber where one of our PC's friend is at. And um it, but he but the, the challenge itself is actually scary because he releases death rays, uh, fear beams, even a disintegrating ray at, uh, at the party once, but they managed to succeed because of a good roll. But it's scary. It legit is scary at the time. And me, and it doesn't help that our situation, we are really running little to no spell slots left. Oh, dang. Yeah, yes. that is scary. And spell and for those who don't know, spell slots are basically your ammunition when it comes to um when when it when it comes to your spell casting uh, when it comes to your spell casting classes. If you don't, uh, some martial classes like f rogues fighters as ro rogues fighters and barbarians don't need those unless certain unless under circumstances they do. But for spellcasters like me, as well as a few others, we kind of we kind of need it though. And once that is used, you can't use them until the next day or the long rest. Anyways, um, I only have like two spell slots left, and if we are not careful, we might end up dying to this thing. I was scrambling on what to do for my options, and then that is when it actually hit me. See. Um, in the first season of the Spelljammer campaign, when we're trying to find an army to stop the Xerixian Empire, um, we had to fight a Beholder once, and we actually succeed to kill that Beholder. Among the many remains that we got from that Beholder, I was actually blessed with a thing called the Wand of Paralysis. Which I kind of flavored that as a gun because most of the party is having guns at that point, and Mary does not have a gun because I, this poor girl does not have any long arm, long range um, firearms, and so we are, and so Mary is blessed with something that can actually help her out. Mary only used the one paralysis once, and that is to actually test it out, and she accidentally paralyzed one of the. Uh, PC party mates uh, when she was who she was talking to at the time. That was that was a bit of a funny moment, and we we also had our fair share of laughs. But I still feel so sorry for paralyzing our companion mate. Anyways, so there I was with as Mary, who managed to find out I still have the water paralysis on my person, and I made. The biggest gamble at that table. Hey, I, Daisy, get out from under there. I Sorry. Made, no, you're okay. I make the biggest gamble on that table. I don't know if this is going to succeed or if this is going to um, fail. Because um, it, it needs to meet a DC. It needs to meet a DC of 15 in order for it to be. Oh. Um, it, it needs to be around. A DC of fifteen in order to, in order to actually re meet its status to be paral paralyzed and, but I had no other choice. I need to do something, or otherwise we might end up dying to this thing. 
And I don't want our party mates to actually be um worse for wear than they were, even though we had a hero's feast earlier. So I made the choice. I used the I throw in the I took in the gamble and used the one a paralysis. As Mary um takes the one takes the gun of paralysis and opens fire into the death tyrant. Savage actually rolled for the DC, uh, DC for the Death Tyrant, and the Death Tyrant fails his DC. And as such, the Death Tyrant became paralyzed for one round. But that one round is enough to is enough for our two tankiest party members to turn it into a pinata and disintegrate it to death. Dang! I know, That's right? Awesome. I know, right? That thing came into a, the first time it was used. It was used for laughs. The second time it was used, it was used for. A, it was used in a clutch. Oh, oh man! I will tell you this: if one of our um. If one of us ends up with a one of paralysis in the Mario campaign, I vote for us for keeping it. Understandable. <sighs> okay, that does not work. There we go. Okay. Ugh. But yeah. Everyone was able to rest for the night after we finally got to succeed in, from the Death Tyrant. And, oh, but holy shit. I'm actually so relieved that we were able to defeat that. That that makes way for our, our tankiest party members to turn it into a pinata. Oh. currently drawing a commission for one of my clients and we are still into the rough post area but what if he fired upon the beam at the party most likely we will end up having um a good chunk of our health being ripped out or we might end up be having a status effect that would actually be a detriment to fight against it Because a death tyrant at the end of the day is still a sub variant of a beholder. Beholders are still no joke, terrifying monsters in the D and D. Mhm. Mm she didn't fall. Oh, 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 okay. Ah, of course you would, boy Splat. It took me a while to actually get the joke. Hey. Well, I did actually get it in time. It's just that sometimes I'm a little bit slow, and I'm um trying my best to actually get this commission through. Although I'm wondering if I should actually um. Although I'm wondering if this is going to be a um. If I'm doing it right when it comes to this pose. It's usually the best time to try and trick ya. Ah. Miki being an airhead. Well, now, I, look, now see here. Um, yes, I can be a little bit of a dit sometimes, but. In some or a little bit of a goober. No, no, I'm not a goober. No, no. Goober, goober, goober. Eh, what am I going to do with you? When Not my Mickey... fault you make it fun to say. <laughs> Let's see. When Mickey is tired, uh, is, it, is a bit tired and slow, I'm thinking that's when people should start making jokes like Updog. <laughs> of course you would. Hmm. Let's see. What do you think of this pose? Actually, hmm? 
Actually, speaking of, that reminds me of the time that one of my friends got tickets to the opera. I told him I got ticket tickets to the supra. <laughs> Mickey, you are a sussy goop. Blah. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Yep. Ah, let's see. Hey, Daisy, Daisy. Get out from under my desk. No, you're not allowed down there. Hmm. I don't care if your ball's down here. I will get it for you. Maybe that arm should not be tilted that way. Hmm. But the hand would still be tilted. Daisy! Daisy, do you have to go in your kennel? Do I have to take you outside? Does that mean the impo- Does that mean Gremlin is the impo- Uh, uh Mega- Hi, Didi Mega! Welcome to the Paper Plate Inn! And thank you so very much for the follow! I hope you enjoy your time here! Let's see... I think this looks pretty good. But I will say this. Um, I'm gonna try my best to make sure this looks just right. Hmm? What is it, demonic design? Why are you gasping over there for air? Is Daisy and um being fussy? She's just being a bit of a goober. <laughs> She's uh she keeps taking her getting her ball underneath my chair or my desk. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. How about we just um flip the head? I guess this looks a little bit better. Okay, there we go. That's all finished. We do not need a gremlin to be an imposter. She's a wrecking cannonball to all of us. I think gremlin is pretty. I think gremlin is pretty much a walking chaos, a uh, ball of chaos already as is. Yep. Yep, she is. <sighs> the, the reason why she slowed down in that activity a bit is that because um, she can't handle winter cold. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and... Okay, the legs are a little bit on the wonky end. <sighs> what up? Oh, nothing. I'm just exporting this darn thing. Ah. Huh, <sighs> finally got a drawing of of what we're going to be needing. Good. Good, 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 good. Now I gotta work on my other Ask Mario crap. <laughs> I mean, it has been keeping you busy for a while, innit? Yeah, it has. Been real good. Good. <sighs> I just hate that I have to go back through my old canvases and just see all the mistakes I made. I mean, come on. Well, look, I, 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 that is a mood on itself, but sometimes some little imperfections is not too bad. Yeah, but this is for something like a show, you know? Okay, fair enough. I put myself to a slightly higher standard. Also, the old canvases don't have my modern way of doing things, so the organization is just, ugh, it's garbage. Ah, fair enough. Let's see, wait a minute. What does the client say anything about her, um... Let me see. 
first picture is the main reference. Second one is the full general full body. Um, I guess she did. Um, I guess my client didn't say anything about um, anything else regarding to the uh, to the outfit. So I guess I may have to stick with the um I guess I may have to stick with the outfit that is provided to the um that's that is referenced to me that is provided to me. You know what? You might want to take some influence from characters like Makoto Nijima, you know? Boomst? Oh, have you not have you not played Persona? Nope. We should rectify that. Anyway, uh, Makoto Nijima is a character from uh, Persona 5. She's also the class president. Has something of a... Well, she's more of a... She's not really a tsundere. She's more like a character that's... Um, you know what? I'm not going to explain much without spoiling it. But I, let, me get you a, let me get you a picture of her just to see if that'll help. Fair. Let's see. Here we go. This might this might give you a little bit of spice to work with. I'll put this in the TV chat. Okay, do kilo key. Ah, oh, this one. Uh, oh, this one here from Persona. Th no, five. I just said five, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Mm. I mean, it's not a bad design. Yeah, you should see what she looks like with the Phantom Thief outfit. She goes full biker. Okay. I think we got our body here. So I guess we'll have to work off with that. Well, the rough of the body, and then we'll have to, uh, and then we'll start working our way to doing the um, refined sketch. Okay, so. Okay, so let's start. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what are- Miki, what are you doing? Okay, the- you know what? Something just popped up on my computer that reminds me I need to uninstall something, because it could get me docs. Uh, oh, oh, dearie. Um, yeah, best do that. Okay. Yeah, just so you guys know, there's this uh, there's this company called Iobit, Iobit, Iobit. Um, they basically they basically uh, have some some tools to help boost your computer's performance, but it comes at a cost of them splitting ads every time you every time you log into your computer. And one of these ads is your IP is exposed. Get our VPN, and it shows your VPN. Just your VPN address, your, no, your IP address right there. It that's, just, uh, it shows your IP address right there. And it, and if you happen to be sharing your screen at the time, guess you what? You just got docked. That's not nice. That's actually terrible. Yeah, so I'm going to uninstall this and I'm going to send in an, I'm going to send an official complaint. I mean, what kind of ad actually does that to actually dox um, their customers? That's the oxymoron when it comes to advertising your product. I don't know. It's stupid. This actually happened to me while my cousin was uh, helping me, like, was having, helping me troubleshoot some stuff. And he's just like, oh, he just saw the ad and he's just like, well, you just got doxed. Thankfully, it's just me. Yikes! That's a nightmare to deal. That is a nightmare to deal with. Well, a potential nightmare to do if you're actually streaming in person. I mm -hmm. mean, 
Well, it's gonna uninstall those right this second. Probably for the best. Yeah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna like have products from a company that could dox me. But no thanks. See ya. Have a nice day. Let's see. Let's see. But on that topic, personal basically thinks that, um... But on that topic of Persona, basically think of it as JoJo's Bizarre Adventure theme thing. You mean, like, like, um... You mean part three, right? Because that is the one time where um, the, the taros are actually pretty much are, are, are the central part of the story. Yeah, so... Jay? Hold on, hold on, let me just write this. You know what? No, this, this can wait. So Persona does place a higher emphasis on the whole tarot card thing, where it, where it focuses on having characters that basically represent the major arcana. And what you do as the main character is you build relationships with them in real life, and they help you, th and they help you when you actually do the battles. Which is actually pretty helpful. Mhm. Mm and as for the whole uh, JoJo th theming, it is pretty similar, especially with the idea of personas being uh, being like a representation of your spirit that stands by you. You know. And also, I should say that Persona 4 does follow a similar plot to Diamond is Unbreakable. I don't know which one I should actually start out when it comes to Persona. That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. Each one is a standalone game. Hmm. But what do they you have a they have a sort of shared universe thing going on, but. More often than not, the games, uh, the games are pretty standalone. They just make references to past games and all that. Well, then what game would you actually suggest I should try my hand playing with? I recommend starting with Persona 4. That's the one that people like the most out of the series. Uh, Persona 5 is the most advanced game that we got so far, but we do have the Persona 3 remake coming soon, and they're currently working on Persona 6. Wait, really? Yeah, they're working on Persona 6 as we speak. Huh. I wonder what a Persona 6 will actually try to offer for this time around. Because each, um, I may not know Persona, but I only know some bits and pieces that'll, uh, that is enough to get me by. Each game actually has their own gimmick when it that makes them dip like that makes them uh, that makes them unique from the other. You got per like Persona Five um, deals with a theme of rebellion, and Persona Four I think deals with the theme of community. Yeah, it deals with the theme of community and also tracking down a serial killer. Hmm, makes me quest makes me kind of wonder what will Persona's um. Six's theme is going gimmick is going to be in its theme. Yeah, that's a good question. In fact, each Persona game has a has a specific theme of music that it a specific genre of music that it sticks to as well. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, Persona Five it sticks to jazz, whereas Persona Four sticks to pop. Huh. And I. I think Persona 3 is about punk, but don't quote me on that since I didn't play it. Fair enough. I guess I should actually give that a look. I just wish Square Enix would localize their Japan-only Dragon Quest monster games. Yeah, I know. I, I wish they would too, because Square Enix is one of the most infamously stingy companies in Japan. Wait, how so? Oh. Um, if it's not a mainline title, they will actually go to the, out of their way to not pay English voice actors. Wait, what? Yeah, they will go out of their way to not hire English voice actors for, uh, spinoff games. They mostly just stick to Japanese scripts. And they also, also they're the, they're the type of company that will take down your videos just for having their music playing in them. So, no Final Fantasy music, no, no Dragon Quest, they... It, there's a reason that uh, Smash Bros. took forever to get 
to get, like, any substantial music from Final Fantasy VII. Well, that could explain why Cloud doesn't actually have a, um, an English voice when it comes to... when it comes to Smash Ultimate. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically why. Square Enix is just too stingy. Well, that's a whole lot of bullshit. Oh, yeah. And Square Enix, I, I'm... Now, don't quote... Now... I haven't. I can't prove it. And I have. Re I haven't read anything to confirm this. But I just have a feeling that they just don't like Amer that they just don't like English speakers. Their their uh, priority is Japan first and foremost. Yeah, but um, but their game has been released internationally, and and most of their fans not, are not only consist of Japanese, uh, are not only consist of the Japanese, but it also consists of many people outside of the world, you know? Yeah, and I wish they would recognize that. But, and they have gotten better. They have gotten better compared to recent years. But... Well, they have they've gotten better compared to the past, I mean. Like, having so many Japanese exclusive st uh, stuff, even during, like, the er even during, like, the 2000s, like, they're actually releasing some stuff but yeah for the most part unless if it unless it's like a mainline game they're just not going to put in the budget for english speaking well that's that is so stupid though it is stupid but it's square enix man like do you and because of how stingy square is like it, it's nothing short of a miracle that we got a remake of Super Mario RPG. Wait, come again? Oh, Bruh. oh, um, back when back when Square Enix was called SquareSoft, uh, they actually collaborated with Nintendo to make the first RPG for Mario. Huh. Bruh. But the thing is, uh, Square Enix actually made a bunch of original characters for that game that are still pretty popular to this day. Hey, listen. Hmm? But it took it took us literal decades for that for that game to get any acknowledgement, and most of it came from when Sakurai himself said he wanted to put Gino in the game at some point with Smash Bros. Huh. But yeah, it it's nothing short of a miracle that we got a remake of Mario RPG. I... Because, because like, Nintendo has to ask Square if they if they can use those characters, and more often than not, they just rather not go through the hassle. Kind of reminds me of that one segment from Internet Historian's video when he talks about, um, the segment about the Odyssey, and he uses this one clip that capitalizes this one moment, too. Please, no. Please, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let me see. Pretty Retro much. Fox also, hey, Dave. Retrofox just said something. Ah, Dave! Hello. It's good to see you here. Let's see. Um, Square does recognize their English translation, and they have to put in the effort uh, with better translation ever since uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Huh. I own opinions with the Final Fantasy 7 remake. I don't like it. No? No. Listen. You know you messed up when you make me hate the important character. And you know you messed up when you write a character so badly that it makes you hate Aerith. Wait. Um. What? Yeah, so I do not like Aerith in the remake. I loved her in the original game. I was heartbroken when that one thing happened. But, oh my gosh. She is insufferable in the remake. Wait. Um. Uh, well, can you elaborate? Why? What? Well, for one, she knew... She, made, she basically implied that she knew she was going to die. And she's all like, oh, don't fall in love with me. Don't fall in love with me. But she still... She still... She still... She still acts like she's falling in love with Cloud anyway. I just... I have, I have a lot of things. I can't... 
organize my thoughts. It sucks. I... Did... Huh? What? She knew she was going to die, but the original didn't actually just... The original Aerith didn't know she was going to die. It, that's because her. That's because it was going with the idea. She was going with the idea of you know I'm. I didn't know that I'm, that I'm a Cetra. I'm, I'm just kind. I'm going along with Cloud because I like to hang out with him. I'm. I actually really like. I really like Cloud. You know. What? Oh. Oh wow. Ah. That's, um... It's her sacrifice all the more sad because she didn't know until the very end that she was going to die. Because only a Cetra could stop Sephiroth. Oh. And that means she went to the Forgotten City alone, knowing that she was going to get killed, but it was for the good of the planet. It, but it was that revelation only... That revelation only came... After the black material was lost. <sighs> oh no, those poor fans. <sighs> so yeah, I'm just. I'm sorry. I need a drink after that tirade. No, no, no. You're va That is a valid feeling. Um. <sighs> That's, um, that's... Huh! I didn't know that's, um... Huh. <sighs> huh. Sorry about that. Um, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, Daisy wants to be led outside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take care of her. Alrighty. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I'll let you. Come on, Daisy. Let's see. No, Aerith doesn't know uh, she was gonna die. She did knew she was a Cetra because of her mother. I think, um, this is kind of... Um... I think I'm, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that I need to actually, um... I am so confused. Bro, I am so confused. Okay, so... But, um, how are you, Dave? Uh, I'm alright. i just been sorting out stuff after getting back from the office. So overall, overall things are going well. Just got things that need to be dealt with, which is why it took me a bit longer than usual to get in. Well, that's fair. Did you actually sleep well last night? I know that uh, it is said that you, you, try, you did try to... You did ponder whether or not to stay up for the uh, meter shower last night. Oh, uh, yeah, I conked out way before that, so... Oh, well, that's okay. There's always I mean, next time. Yeah, it's... Mm, yeah, it's not that, that bad of an issue. Granted, I missed the meteor shower, but oh well. Still better than being woken up at 3 in the morning by the fire alarm. Oh, yeah. That happened this week. Yeah, and um, that was not fun to do... That was not fun to experience. Yeah, fire alarm's never fun to experience. It was even more disorientating at three in the morning. Mm -hmm. Honey! Oh, honey? Uh, ah, there he is. Okay. I'm, doing, uh, I'm doing all right. I am currently um just trying to right, draw... Just did the I think his network's gotten out on him. Oh, dearie. Well, 
Let's see. Written, Aerith is written a lot better than she, what than what she was in Crisis Core and Advent Children. She there was never an implication that she knew. She doesn't know much because she was raised in the slum with an adopted mother. Okay. okay. Okay, there we go. Honey? Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. I'm doing all right. I'm just currently drawing a commission for um, a client. Although part of me actually wish I could actually take advantage of the new opportunity that, trip, that Twitch dropped into the system. All right. Yeah, um, haven't you actually heard that, um, maybe, you know that one Twitch meta that has been going a lot long, um, for a while? Where, um, the, honey? Is that the one you made that meme about? Yep. It was okay, so yeah. <laughs> so, Twitch added in their terms of services that, um... Make it so that artistic nudity can be allowed for, for artists when it comes to drawing. But when it comes to their avatars, they are still required to actually keep their stuff on. Because, um, PNG tuber ava um, well, VTuber avatars still count as cosplay ava uh, as cosplay material, so it has Okay, to I'm back. Welcome back. It has to be required oh. that they have to be keeping their um, stuff on while they, but they can still do artistic nudity. But our, um, art that depicts um, hardcore stuff that is still not allowed in Twitch. <sighs> Wait, what are we talking about? Um, I was actually <sighs> talking to Steve that I'm doing a commission today, but part of me actually wants to take advantage on Twitch's new um, new thing that they dropped. Because I want to actually give it a shot. Hmm. For that idea, what would you do? Well, there is a art piece I want to draw at, um, with Celine that is actually based on a classical painting that um what that existed back then, and I have it bookmarked in my twit in, in my Twitter to serve as reference. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just, um, give me a minute to actually look for it, okay? Okay. Just bear in mind, I probably won't be able to properly look at it because I am on the road. Uh, fair, fair. Um, let's see. My mother told me you are somewhere around here. No, no, wait. No, 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 no. It's it's here. I know it's here. Um No, 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 no. Um nope, nope. Uh-uh. Nope. Wait. But uh yeah. This does mean that in terms of good news, I'm actually on my way home. Oh. <sighs> I'm so cold. Get some heavy clothes on, boy. I am. Find the uh, find your pupper and snuggle her for warmth. I don't know. I just well, she just wanted to go outside, so that's why I'm cold. That's weird. Where is? Oh, there you are. Where is it? Ah, there it is. I found it. Um, let's see. Um, I am... I don't know where I'm gonna actually put this painting in, but I am gonna be putting this into the, um, open chat, but I'm gonna put spoiler tags on it. Okay. okay. It's called the Moon Nymph from, um... Luis Ricardo Falero, which is, um, 
which is released on it. Okay, hold on a second. Edit this image because it's in, ugh, not in Twitter anymore, which I still call a whole lot of bullshit. People are still gonna call a Twitter out of spite. <laughs> because that's its name. There is no other name. Yep. I watched a FIFA, uh, FIFA advert draw faster. Um, I'm sorry. It's just that um, I got a little bit distracted. My bad. Wait, hold on. Also, Charming, oh, really? Charming attitude, by the way. Let's fix that. Yeah, not not a fan of that. Not a fan of what? Don't worry about it. I'm taking care of it. Also, uh, just for the sake of curiosity, am I sounding okay right now? You, you are coming in. You're coming in very crunchy. That would explain it because I got y'all going through my phone, uh, through my uh, car now. You sounded a little bit off-putting, dear. Especially, I'm going hands-free with this shit. Um. Okay. That could explain why. So I apologize for me sounding like an exo or that's me or some automaton from uh, here on Amada. Well, um, it could have been worse. Yeah, I would use my headset, but when I left this morning, I grabbed your earbuds and not mine. You what? Well, that could explain. I'm sorry, it wasn't on purpose. Well, I guess we may have to put stickers on that thing so we can tell which one's mine and yours. Maybe so. Like, don't worry, I didn't use them or anything. They're, they've been in my car all day. Well, alright, alright, honey, alright. That's okay, you're okay. With that, that, well, that means we gotta have to figure out, put some distinguishing marks on our earbuds. Yeah, because it's hard to tell them apart in the dark. Hopefully you get home safe, Steve, says one of my, um, people in chat. Well, due to the fact now I'm going completely hands-free with this shit, I reckon I will. Okay. Let me, ch um... Try getting the skirt right. Okay. I think this one is looking a little bit good so far. Oh? Yeah. Yeah, um, cuz I'm drawing this for a client in Twitter and, um,. Is it the basic one? It's a little bit of... I'm doing a base post for the... I'm doing a dynamic post for them for now, which is going to be for a reference sheet that... Um, a reference sheet commission, because I'm going to go divide and conquer for this type of... Co when it comes to commission sheets. I will draw a dynamic post for them, and then I'm going to draw a back and front post for them. And then afterwards, I fill in the rest of the details, and it's off to the um, races it goes. Alright. Yeah, that's how, um, hence why I said divide and conquer. Sounds good. Hmm. But I'm also on the fence on how, um, how am I going to approach when it comes to the, um, no, I'm on the fence if I actually did well when it comes to the open blouse policy. Because the two images that they sent me for reference, um, and these are... Uh, hey! Listen. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Retrofox? As much as I find it funny that Twitch is allowing that, I wouldn't condone it for... I, I wouldn't condone it for Mickey's stream. Um, hmm. Like, what? what do you mean by that? 
Um, Showing artistic depictions of tanks. But what? Okay, elaborate. Why? Why is it you guys are not okay with that? I mean, you know why I. You know why I'm not okay with that sort of thing? I'm just not a. I don't really go for that kind of stuff. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 I'm not allowed to get into the stage. I just found someone's uh, license plate on their car, and it said, Dodge GM. Is... I could not understand a word of that. No, honey, I don't even... Un I can't, um, understand a lick of that either. It's all... Oh, muffled. hold on. Hmm? Hold on, R Rachel's calling. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Sure. Okay. But Retrofox, um, tell me, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, what, what do you mean you don't condone that for my street? Uh, when it comes to my streams, elaborate. It may be due to the fact that uh, while they are like technically allowing it, it may still be heavily enforced. One wrong step, and you're gonna hit the hammer. But um. I see several artists out there today who are actually making use of this situation. And um and some of them are actually are, are actually still have their avatars regular avatars on, but they're still actually doing um not safe for work um artistic nudity art. And Let's see. More so, so we can still tease you, but we are uh, better off handling, but... Oh, more so, so we can still tease you, but we are better off handling that. Ah. Oh. So, I, I'll put this as bluntly. I, while I wouldn't be opposed to it, I don't trust Twitch farther than I can throw them as far as their uh, uh, consistency with moderating decisions. So I wouldn't tow that line even if they promised they would, it's perfectly fine. Yes, that is actually, a, that is actually, I wholeheartedly agree with that. It's just that, um, it's just that, and according to Boy of Splatty, they said that as far as I know, people are, have their VTuber avatars can draw nudes, but they can't have their avatars naked. That's the thing. Technically, yes, but platforms like Twitch, YouTube, etc., are known for their uh, uh, hypocrisy when it actually comes to enforcing rules or just banning people despite them not having actually violated a rule. So, do you really want to take that chance? Fine. <sighs> Fine. Ultimately, it's up to. Ultimately, it's up to you if you it's still fine. want to go ahead. It's it's fine. Okay. I mean, as a caveat, on if you still want to do this stuff, you can always uh, advertise the stream on Picardo. They are much more lenient when it comes to that sort of thing. Well, yeah. All right, fine. I guess I'll just um stay with Picardo when it comes to that. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just, um, <sighs> just have to, um, be safe again. <sighs> Something about Twitch again. Yep. <sighs> Why is it always Twitch being like this? Okay, I'm back. Okay, so... Hey, uh, uh, do you want me to pick up anything on my way home? Surprise me. I was talking about groceries and stuff, huh? I was gonna maybe grab some butter or something, I think, because we need uh, it. Yeah, yeah. I guess butter would actually... Uh, butter is among the things we definitely need in our pantry, since we're running low on that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it anything else? Anything comes to mind? Um, mm, let me see. Any cravings? Anything? 
What? Like any cravings, anything like that? Um. Hmm. What do you want me to make for dinner tonight? Um, I was under the impression we were going to have the leftover spaghetti. Oh, okay then. So, I, I just got to make a new, I, I just got to make fresh pasta to go with the sauce. Fresh what to go with the sauce? Fresh pasta. Well, what's wrong with the pasta we have? Well. I know what I need. There's still some left, but I just want to make sure there's enough for two, you know? Okay, fair enough. My God, such a such a domestic uh, conversation uh, in a uh, fucking Twitch stream. Yeah. Oh, uh, but other than like what's been happening, I presume, how's everyone's day been? I just finished my I nine appointment for uh, for the uh, thrift store job. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, um, I'm expected at orientation uh, whenever they call me back. As soon as I'm approved for it. That's actually really good to hear. Fingers yep. Uh, the job, the job itself is going to be about ten bucks an hour, which is understandable because it's a it's a you know a temporary position. Mhm. Mm but there is a like you do get raises like in. A raise in a month, depending on how hard you work. I suppose you better work your ass off, then, boy. Make that push. Huh. Yep, I'm gonna try okay. anyway. We believe in you, man. Mm. Like, I've just had performance review today for my university on how I've done this year, and I've had some real like. I've had some good good views and some pretty decent criticisms that have actually helped me. That's been keeping me in a good mood all day today. That's good. They just said I was a little too ambitious. You know what? There. You know what? While there is such thing as being too ambitious, that's probably one of the best criticisms you could get. Yeah, because um, because of the papers that I selected, um, they it just kind of caused a little bit of confusion. But I was given like some pretty high passes, so I'm, I'm good with that. Mm, that's good. We're good. Mm. And just DM'd my players tonight. I booked them a really nice room because this is the the last game I could do for them this year. Hey. And yeah. with that, they are now level two. Hope you actually um, show some level of mercy for your players. The soul sword was died again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like it was supposed to like all this encounter that did they should have run away, but they did not. <laughs> okay, so I think this looks pretty good. This cat, this character's open shirt policy is a little bit on the, um, I don't know how much is enough for this character's open shirt policy, so. You gotta, you know, I at some point in time, it's just better to just put, to just say screw it and move on at some point. Maybe so, but I still want to give this thing a try, though. Go ahead, hon. Like. From what I've, from what Retro Fox has been saying in the chat, um, it's like you're okay to do suggestive things as long as the model itself doesn't look suggestive. Obviously, it's just gonna be it's a weird... average me. Yeah, exactly. Uh. Like, I don't entirely get what is going on with their terms of service anymore. I've been hearing jokes from other servers saying it's becoming essentially a blue twitch situation. Like a, like a, like one of those types of things. It's weird, absolutely weird. It's like, it's like that old YouTube um, ruling. I forgot what those called again. I may have been o overly cautious in my initial suggestions. Then, if that's, uh, if that's the case. Yeah, I think we both were, buddy. 
It's perfectly better, okay to be cautious. Better to be cautious than not. Exactly. True, but there is an old saying of fortune favors the bold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just feel a little bit shitty about it, that's all. Yeah. Okay, so... Well, don't be. I guess this, this is not a bad, um... This doesn't Art. look too bad, but the head looks a little bit small, so we may have to, um... I was say, yeah, the head, looked a, the head looked a little small, even in the sketch. So we're gonna, um, increase it a little bit. Okay, so... Wait a minute, why am I using- why am I doing that when I have liquefy? Liquify? Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Just a little. Okay, just a tibble. Okay, that's before. Does that look a little bit better when it's um when it's increased a bit? Let's find out. Looks fine. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, that looks a little bit better, so that's good. All right, unfortunately, this is where I got to go because I just pulled into the castle, and I'm gonna get my. All right, honey. Love you. Love you too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aww. Aww. All right, so let's see. I guess this looks pretty good as a dynamic pose. So we're just going to continue from there. And I'm going to give her a little bit on the, um... There's a proper name for this kind of, for this kind of cardigan jacket. So I'm going to give her that. Because, um, this character, uh, this, my client... Um, had to use other means to get her, um, uh, to get the character reference, and honestly, I don't blame them if this is their only option, if that's their only options, but it's, so it's a good, so I am thankful that they actually, um, commissioned an actual artist for me to draw their character. But, oh, is it so, yes, that way? Yes, yes, unfortunately. But Yeesh. they commissioned an actual artist, so I'll give them credit. Mm -hmm. For yeah. that, I still do not condone their means. No, but <laughs> yeah. um, but if it's to serve as a reference to, in order for me to actually, in order for artists to draw out their characters, then that's fine, you know? Yeah. I disagree. To I think it's like a... It's great. I can definitely agree. It is a very great thing. To do. It is very great. It is very great. And I made an ex and I'm making an exception of this for this one time. You know. Look, uh, <sighs> you're a better person than I am in that aspect because I would just have turned the com I would have just turned the commissioner away straight away after, after you know finding that 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 out. It gives me more, um, it, it gives me more, uh, more, uh, an opportunity to, well, basically, uh, uh, it gives me more opportunity to help, um, give this character a bit more of a fl give, give more of their own flair and charm, you know? A little more humanity, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like like, I will always say that AI is a threat, like, to most people, because in my personal no, it, it is. It's a threat to everyone. Exactly. I, I don't understand why people are wanting or even condoning it. Simple, because they want results. They don't want to put the work in. It's... Strictly unfair, really. To people who actually do put the work in. Only to have someone else be like, You know what? I'm just gonna put a few words in and boop, there it is. Anyways, can we talk about something else, please? Oh, absolutely. Mm. <sighs> um... <sighs> I'm just in one of those moods today and I'm just... Yeah, it's not good. 
I mean, the only thing I have news-wise is, um, well, I have finally finished university for the year. Nice. So, tomorrow at 8am, I am traveling by train to get back home. By train? Oh yeah, Europe. Mm -hmm. No, it's just, I don't have a car, and I don't want to have my parents just drive all the way up here. Yeah, no, train makes sense. It does. It's also very comfy. As a guy who's had to take, like, the, uh, who's had to take the fast tracks to get from one, to get to, uh, point A to point B when I was serving my mission, it, it it's fun. It's comfy. Exactly. You just, the only thing that... The only thing that isn't comfy is sitting at the tra is sitting at like the the station, and it's like unbelievably windy. Oh, I can I can agree with you on that one. Like in the UK, it is always windy. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the same here in Utah. See, oh, it's not yeah. the see what in Utah it's not the cold that gets you; it's the wind. Wait, really? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it is not the cold that gets you. Like you can, like you can have a decently, a decently thin, uh, like a moderate. Uh, you can have a modest coat and go out fine in Utah if during the winter time, unless it is just blowing wind, just absolute gale, and it is just, mm, it is, it, it just, it just cuts right through you. Good lord. Although it's worth it when you sit down on a nice train just to... Ugh, just to relax. Maybe talk to someone? And... Or just have your headphones on and listen to what type of audible or video you have. Yeah, I, l I used to listen to books all the time when I was on the train. It's worth it. It pass helps pass the time. Cold wind... Mm. Cold wind in the face. Cold wind can feel sand paper to the face. Oh, okay. As I mentioned, that the wind chill right, makes it feel several degrees colder. Exactly. The chill from the wind makes it feel several degrees colder. I couldn't have put it better myself. Oh. I'm getting a lot of that. Getting a lot of that here. Like it's two degrees Celsius, but it feels like minus three, kind of thing. Wow. Um. Okay. Come on, give me that eyelash game, right? Hold on. Um, um. I will say one of the most frustrating things is not the trains here in the UK, but the tubes. The tubes. Subway. Um, it's it's English slang for yeah, subway. English subway. English oh, slang for subway. Oh, okay. Because we have like, if have you ever seen the map for no? the London tubes? No. Um, like, I will say this: I do not live in London, but I have to visit a few times for Comic Con. Oh, and Mr. Muppet, hi! Welcome to the Paper Plane Inn, and thanks for the follow. I hope you enjoy your time here. And I'm just gonna do like a quick copy and paste to show you what our tube maps look like I mean, and each line represents a different train <laughs> i mean it can't be that bad right you, Take a you look. say that but having been to london over the last december period i do remember uh what the london underground oh maps okay like. never mind holy sh what am i looking at here <laughs> that well, is essentially well, that the entire london underground what? Uh, you, best place you typically have to off. find the color of the line that's attached to your station. Yeah. Oh! Um, what? I'm trying to, rem what? I'm trying to remember just... exactly where we were, actually. The fuck yeah, is um... the, the fuck is this? The fuck is the fuck is this? What am I looking okay, at? Okay. Um, best way to start um, is King's Cross at Saint at Saint. Pa that is like where ev that's why I had to get off. And I had to go all the way up oh to the XL Spring Oh my god. I, I remember, I think we were, I think we were, when we were there, we were staying near Putney Bridge, actually. <laughs> this is confusing, isn't it? 
Yeah. Um, and here's the thing, they're all stacked on top of each other. Oh, mm -hmm. oh no. Oh. Yeah, so the London like... Underground sometimes runs above ground and above some of the houses. Yep. Confirm. I, I am, con okay, oh, wait, there it is! Okay, I found King's Cross, I found King's Cross, well, there it is! There it is! Okay. I had to... I the had only to go... thing I... The only thing I ever learned about King about King's Cross was from freaking Harry Potter. Me? Right? That is the, that is oh. the one landmark that is familiar to me! That see, that's the, see, that's the, see, that's the bizarre thing. Like, I I didn't even realize that King's Cross was a real place. It is a real place. Always has been, it's always will be. the main rail hub into and out of London for the whole rail network. Yep. Wow. And I had to go all the way to, uh, where's Excel Center? Like, essentially, I had to travel all the way down to, I think it was St. Paul's Bank? Yeah, St. Paul's Bank. Then I had to take a Piccadilly line all the way up to, like, Canning Town. Had to get off that, off that train and go onto another, and then I'm at the Excel Center. It took me approximately from where I am currently to Comic-Con, four hours. Holy shit. Also, hello, Jexa Dragon. Welcome back. But all I'm going to say is, if you're ever going on the London Underground, plan ahead. Oh, absolutely. When, whenever it comes to public transport, you should always have a plan ahead of time because it's a lengthy process and the delays get even longer. I... I've never... Oh. You go. I, I, I need to, um, I'll let you take over this because my brain hurts from looking at that. I've never seen a delay actually happen. Never ever? I think you- I've never seen a delay actually happen when I was down in London. On my way back home, many times. <sighs> no, no, I mean something like you missed your train by accident. Also, did mm -hmm. you call Mr. Puppet Mr. Muppet for chance? Uh, I think no I, comment. <laughs> yeah, I, I I think I accidental. That's a, that is my bad, Mr. Puppet. That that is my bad. I I, I my tongue slip. I did not look at that. That is that is my act. Uh, that is going down in history. That is definitely <laughs> no, no. going down in history. I am so sorry. Do, do, okay, technically. Do, do, do. Okay, technically, technically, it's Mr. Puppet underscore. I because there's an underscore. Okay. Oh. Oh. You know, I, can't I actually like this hairstyle that uh, I'm designing for this character. I'm actually vibing mm. with it. It, it does... Like... Maybe it's just me, but it does remind me of Joe. Joe? Wait, <laughs> what? Really? Joe Mama! The, the, the hair length, certainly, if, I, if this were in... Uh, if this were in that uh, high contrast... Uh, crimson, that is her hair color, it would definitely be something I'd expect on her. My nickname oh. has been Dishonored. No, wait, I am so sorry. Wait, wait, wait. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean to. God, it's going down in his Ouch. No. You have betrayed them. No, Dishonored. Dishonored. Your whole family. No. Dishonor on you! Dishonor on you! No. No. Dishonor on your cat! No. I'm sorry! Why do I like, who can agree with me on this one for like D&D &D okay. I just imagined a hobgoblin bard using that for vicious mockery. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. What does that- uh, I once built sneeze, hiccup, cough, and farted within ten seconds. What? That was Wait, what? I have a question. <laughs> he fried himself. 
survived. <laughs> he fived himself. How does that happen? And what was the process? Did you do all of that in the same, like, in the same process? Or was it, like, at random? Oh, oh, that is, <laughs> okay, that actually got me a really laugh. Somehow my head stayed in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone a long time without a uh, without a pillow toss, so it had to be done. Of course you would. Didn't, that, didn't people throw pillows last night, though? Hmm. No. Uh, yeah, but for this Jack entire stream, I meant. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, Jexo, um, a grown-up's reference is a boat's night. It's where you boat sneeze and fight, but I think they did that a little extra to it. <laughs> but how is that even yeah. possible, though? It is possible. It's possible, but it's unlikely. Like, it's more of like, you have to do it at will. Is it like the equivalent of being um, zapped with lightning twice? No. no. Not quite. It's more likely than getting hit struck by lightning twice. Uh, that's but technically, I... but technically, there you can get struck by lightning multiple times. Like there was was one dude who got struck by lightning seven times in his life, still lived. Oh, isn't that like the like? There's there have been people like that throughout history. Like there's a guy who is young and old at the same time. Wait, what? He, I think, from what I remember, he stuck his head in a particle accelerator. Um, that's a thing? Let me see if I can find them. Essentially, one half of his face looked all, was like his current age. The other one was his, like, like what he looked like hold 20 up. years ago. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Huh? What's wrong? You, you, you okay? Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone's trying to pretend to be Moy. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! De please take care of that. Hold on. Is it is it him or is it? Hold up. Shoot a question. Hold up. Shoot a questions that only boy knows. Yeah, that's best thing to okay. do. Um. Okay. He. It looks like he's saying stuff in the in the server. Uh, um. Never. Hold on, he's in my server. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. This explains a lot. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. This is, uh, you think, do you want to go and take care of this? Uh, I might have to, I, I'll be back. Yeah, it's okay, T please take it, take, take please be careful, take your time. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hate copycats. No, I have a feeling. Uh, I'm bit, I'm having. I have a feeling that it, it's either that that Moy got copycatted, or B Moy got hacked. Probably oh, I hacked. hope it's not the other one. I hope it's not the other one. It's why I ask. Um, it's it's why I asked. Um, ask ask questions that only Moy knows, and this is a countermeasure when it comes to um. Okay, PSA to uh, to my viewers going live uh, who are watching me live right now. If you, if somebody actually approaches to you, like if like one day out of the blue, if one of the people from your friends list approached to you but asked you like, um, <laughs> hey, can I ask you something or um uh or or, or something in the least like um. Uh, I actually did something that uh, I actually did something with your name in it or such, and I, and I think I, I I think I need your help to confirm it. Please, please, whatever, whatever, um, you guys, uh, please, guys, never ever open up their links or actually um fall into their bait. Um, mm -hmm. there's a very good chance that 
that character that person is hacked and most likely is going to ask as most likely asking for um asking for details so they can actually fish your information that is an actual thing and it happened um, to some it happened to some of the friends that i know it happened to afton i despised what happened and i still wish for vengeance and one of the key signs among this is that um, they will approach to you, but all their text is in lower text. And um, another way to help countermeasure this is that you ask them quit is either to ignore it, report it, or if you want to be a little bit uh, more extra, ask them questions that only your friend knows, you know? And yep, it, I had... Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I'll let you continue. I was going to say, um, this is the best way to do so. If you know someone already, if you have like an ongoing joke between you two or a keyword, much like we have, um, it's best to ask them that. If they do not respond with that, well, do exactly what Mickey said. Report them, block them, and warn others. If I have any other social media with such mutuals, tell them about this mm. so they can prevent you from being hit as much as you guys okay as much you know what guys i'm gonna take a little bit of a 10 minute break so i'm gonna be back soon okay i brought ice cream steve has actually brought me ice cream and i want to um indulge this oh. Oh, honestly that's... fair All yeah right. that's that's good to have so yeah i'll see you guys in four in 10 minutes see you soon okay We'll catch you in 10, guys. Okay. Uh, Could be, um... Hmm? The what? Yes. What's with the... Looks like the metro uh, map. Um, that's the underground railroad of the, uh, of the London, uh, underground, of the London underground ra 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 rail tracks. Oh, the subways. Yep. Mic's open. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, guys. Oh, okay. The mic's open. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go and stop. Okay. I am so sorry.
Mm hmm. All right, I'm back. Hey. Welcome back. Afton had to excuse himself because he had to prep for his travel. Fair enough. And as for Moy, well, he. The, the guy that came up in my server is him, but it looks like he got he got kicked out of his account. Oh, 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 that is, oh, that is horrible to hear. Yeah, so about an hour ago, he was told by someone on his friends list that some something about tickets, and they reported all the accounts that supposedly sent him some links, his included, and he didn't know about any of this until they told him. Oh, no. That sounds like typical hacker behavior. Yes. Yeah, that that does sound like it. But oh man, oh I'm so sorry for Moy. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. See, this is what I've been warning you, uh, warning you guys about before we actually go into our break. And Jack the Dragon earlier speaks the truth. Yep. Yeah. Um. They also been hit by one of them as well and fell for the trap, but he was lucky enough to get his Discord account back. I hope that also goes for the same thing when it comes to Moy. Okay. Mm. Hey, Steve. Honey! Hang on. Oh, hang on. I... Much better. Honey? What? What's up? You good? You good over there? Yes, I'm just distracted by cats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're gonna we're trying our best to finish out where we left off when it comes to the inks. <coughs> uh. Okay, there's something on my throat. <coughs> okay, I think it's a little bit of a dry throat there for a minute there. Okay, so... I am gonna, um... I don't know where I'm gonna end when it comes to this commission, but... I'm most likely gonna get this thing um, done with its inks and see where I'm gonna finish um, go from there. Oh, that's set to snap eraser. Not, not, um, needed eraser, sorry. Okay, uh, they told they told him to message. Uh, looks like looks like he messaged support. But they only made things worse because he had no idea what this hacker even did, and they were asking questions he wasn't comfortable with uh, telling them. What? Hmm. What do I know? Uh, one of my one of my friends just got hacked, and he's trying to figure he's trying to figure out how to get his old account back. Hmm. Where is he getting the support links from? Because I swear to God, if it's from the hacker. I hope it's not from the hacker. Hmm. That'd just be beyond goofy. I may have to fix this finger later down the line. Doesn't look right to me. It's something you can come... Um, back to mm. and take a moment to work on something else and then come back to it just to uh, that's the, that's just the to plan. give you a fresh perspective that's the plan I'm just gonna work on making the rough inks before we refine it Okay, so I may have a way to cheese my way through when it comes to the pleated skirt. When it comes to the pattern of the skirt, got a brush for that. Yep, or a pattern because, well, 
I, I, I will say this. I, I do not have the, um, the strength to actually do that by hand. Mm. Well, if the tool's available to you, so you might as well use it as long as it's not somebody else's tool, right? Mm. Well, I got it from the um, Clip Studio Asset Library. It's why it's there for a reason. Oh, no. I was making reference to AI with that statement. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Let's see. By the way, Miki, earlier before, you know that, that I wasn't putting you down about the Twitch ruling, right? Well, um, I get that everyone is trying their best to, um, protect me in a way because of, this is a new endeavor, but, uh, but I honestly don't blame them for being so cautious because Twitch is Twitch. Hmm. I mean, granted, most of the time, most of the egregious stuff is on YouTube, where I hear my favorite content creators basically getting a copyright claim or getting their, um, getting their, what's the word for it? Their, their, it's not funding, there's a word for it. Their ad revenue uh, cut because uh, YouTube says they violated the community guidelines. And when they ask them, okay, what part of the community guidelines has been violated the standard youtube responses we are not allowed to discuss the at what the, the community guidelines are as this may be used to try and uh, exploit to them by bending the rules but, but that, is stupid. that is stupid is. that is dumb mm, what that's is, twitch that, what is the point of that's youtube what is the point of, of demonetize what is the point of demonetizing that if they don't tell you what where did you actually don't go so they can fix it? Let's, you know, let's that's... Yeah. You, um. you know... You know, that's just... Mm, it's frustrating because by not telling you, they they hold a stranglehold over you. It gives them a position of power. That's what they're really after. That is entirely the point and has been as far as YouTube is concerned. Can we go... Uh, can we go back, go back to the to... period? Uh, can we go back to the Wild West days of YouTube, like the like the early to mid two thousand tens? That was the good what? times. That was the great times. That was where I flourished mm -hmm. back when I was a J monitor, where I could get a, where I could actually um make my old content back then. I can't even make scouted content anymore because of how YouTube is now. G yeah. So. The whole thing with YouTube's approach to it is the only reason they can get away with it is because you're technically not employed by YouTube. They just offer you the opportunity to make money on it. And since you're not technically employed, this is technically legal because an employee, I'm fairly certain, not telling an employee what law rules they violated was cert must most certainly be illegal. Mm -hmm. But since you're not an employee, you don't get those rights. And YouTube would much rather that you take the fall for an, any BS that happens than YouTube going through the apocalypse again. Why because is it as much as people like to, sorry. No, no, I'll let you. I'll let you continue. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Because as much as people like to blame YouTube for the situation, it was the advertisers that YouTube makes money off of uh, during the apocalypse and what happened then that basically led to this uh, set of rulings. Especially, um, especially since uh, there's this big little thing that is called Elsa Gate back then. Uh, man, that was a. Uh... But why is it called the Apocalypse in the first place? I try my because best to grasp it, but it's flying over my head. Essentially, ad revenue effectively collapsed overnight because a whole bunch of uh, Google's uh, uh, sponsor partners basically put their foot down and said you either need to you know start enforcing copyright infringement rules on and as well as uh, stricter guidelines on what uh, does and doesn't can violate the community guidelines or we're pulling our stuff because frankly we don't like our stuff being put up on neo-nazi content that that was kind of like what mask is doing with twitter that was a thing? Yeah, essentially, 
Advertising companies don't like when their content gets put up on things that people find objectionable. Because the way you make money with ad content is by spamming it to as many people as possible in hopes of getting a half a percent return. Maybe maybe three percent if you're really lucky on your ads. So the problem is, is when you start putting your ads up on questionable content, then people start associating your brand with said questionable content, regardless of whether you actually support it or not. Hello, Mook. Whoop. Yeah, NPC Mook is in the chat. Nice. But, man, so... And I get, and I have a feeling that one of those sponsors back then is um, for videos as um, part of the Elsa Gate um, controversy. Uh, I think it was, it's not so much then, it's, it, as I said, it was mostly people of certain political and social opinions who have their videos up and basically oh. ruin the fun for the rest of us. Oh, oh, okay, my bad then. It, it's a classic case of the one person who decides to take advantage of the situation and leads to a, that's why we cannot have nice things. This was my concern with what's happening with the Twitch meta right now. Because right now it seems like a good thing in terms of being more open about this stuff. But just based on what I've read in the other Discord. So Meg just got banned. Interesting. Wait, what? Meg? Like Meg Manuel? Like King Boy Meg Manuel. The name doesn't uh, ring a bell, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I don't know who that is. Like Me Meg? Meg Manuel is the one who's one of um, Azura's friends, and is the one who actually drew one of Azura's works. Ah. Uh, why did uh, they oh, get banned? Oh, I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, hang on. Uh, hang on, I'm doing a recon. Yeah, please do, because I have a sus sneaking suspicion that my concerns might be brought to light in a second. Yeah, but anyway, on to more positive things. Um, oh, Jexo Dragon, to answer your question, we can't just Rosa Park YouTube and not use it. YouTube is literally the most accessed website in the world right now. Even oh, if we, really? even ah. if we end up, uh, even if we as a select few just stop using YouTube, that's not going to stop the rest of the world from using it, especially when it's such a readily a readily available resource for sharing information like how to change a tire or how to or how to uh you know tie a specific knot yeah so she got macerated what what mm -hmm. people be like that you know the fun of automated systems as well yeah M meg is gone M meg is gone They're what the fuck That's a bunch of bullshit. Uh huh. <sighs> now they gotta go through a whole bunch of bullshit paperwork to get that sorted. Oh no. Oh, Meg. Oh no. Poor Meg. That is. Oh. Oh, I. Oh, that is. If you go to view, if you go up in viewers by thirty plus, then um, and if you go up in thirty viewers by um, then end stream ASAP. My viewers don't usually c go up that high. Oh, it'll be a miracle if it does, but no, you mis you misunderstand. The, well, that's implying that's a that's a hate bot raid at that point, and they will attempt to mass report you. Oh. So that's a warning for the future. I don't expect it will happen, but it's a fair, but it's a fair, fair thing it's to fair. look out for. But he was actually trying to do more. Uh, he was actually trying to do an art stream today, and he's actually trying to. to is this a result of uh, the new um 
Oh. I don't think so. If what Dave is to be believed, essentially, he essentially got spammed by bot accounts, which then reported him for bullshit. As Mook says, it was a hate raid, so there you go. I hope Meg is okay. You know, I'm trying to find him so I can check up on him. Check check his Twitter. He, there, if, if I, if I, I'm betting my little boob that he still has his Twitter up. Copy. Man, what a, what a day today. I think today is a bit of a um, upside down, um, up and down in terms of, uh, 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 you know, maybe as soon as I'm done with this line art, I, I think I want to call it here for the day. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. I really want to continue more with this, but... This uh, news just kind of put the fire and put a big old douse of dirt on it. Not just mm -hmm. that. Um, just when I finally am feeling a little bit better, um, just when I'm feeling a little bit better, then I heard one of the um, then I heard one of the big VTubers, who is also a friend of Azura's, um, happened to him. I can't help but. Yeah, this kind of dampers my mood a little bit. And I really want to continue this commission, I do, but... No, we understand. Mm, yeah, we get you. Maybe I should really stick with Picarto for doing, um... Doing stuff like that. I... <sighs> Not something to dwell on for now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a Discord set up for it. They posted a link to Discord and join it that way. No raid message. Yikes. Mm -hmm. I I wish nobody should... I, I wish no one that I know of would go through a hate raid. I do not wish upon that to anyone. Question: How do you, how do you tell if it's a hate raid? I mean, it's, I mean, as as I said, you you're suddenly getting a a massive a large spike in, in viewership. And typically, typically they, as I said, will attempt to report you on mass at that point. Maybe, uh. maybe they will start uh, posting. Uh, derogatory pretty... things into the chat and yes the archi archivist hi welcome into the paper plane in i'm mikuta Nui, and i'm currently trying to draw up this line art for this commission i want to do more about it but um the do the mood has been dampered because of hearing a mutual or a, a friend of a friend getting um hate rated after I, um, yeah, I apologize. We might end up, um, cutting the stream short because the mood has been dampened. Want to check up on them, make sure they're doing okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, but... I, I, I'm not really close friends with Meg because I'm just a viewer in his perspective, but this is Azura's friend and... I can't help but feel, um, worried for him. Completely fair. Does that make me feel too soft? No. No? no it no. means you care. But yeah, I wish that, I wish, um, I wish that nobody that I know of gets hate rated. That is something I do not wish upon anybody. Whoever makes the, makes up the concept for hate raids, I I pity you. You know, you could have done so much better, but you ended up choosing this. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, uh, <clears throat> okay. I just need to do the um inks. I just need to do the inks before we actually go. Um, finish this up for the night okay so there so there is some good news 
Yes. Mm -hmm. I just looked up uh, his channel on Twitch. It's only temporarily unavailable, which means there's a chance he might get it back. Oh. That's a start. That is a start, and that is good. But... That is terrifying. Mm-hmm. According to Mook, Meg's having a chuckle about it, apparently. Huh? How could Meg chuckle about this? Some people are just made of uh, stone owner stuff, so... Stuff like this, they... They see the schadenfreude in seeing salty people all resorting to stuff like this. Plus the fact that he's probably going to get his account back after the stalls dies down anyway. Yeah, it'll, take, it'll probably take him no more than a week or so to get it back. Mm -hmm. Well, I wish I actually had that spunk. You get that spunk sometimes. I was I was deliberately holding off for the joke. What the hell? Wait, what? What? Uh, let's just say that uh, word is that word is also an innuendo for something very. Uh, very rosebud. Oh! That I flew see. over my head! <laughs> how did that fly over your head and not mine? Hey, now hold on a minute! I'll have you now! I'll have you now! I'm a bit now what? Nuts. As I said, as I said, it's a rosebud. I'm not a stupid! No! No! As I said, it is very much a rosebud thing, so we'll leave it at that. Love you too, but why? <laughs> oh. Okay. Right, I'll show you why. What are you doing? What are you? Oh, no. What are you doing? I need to stay away from my den. <laughs> I am staying away from your den. Just look in Discord. Huh? All right. So, um, what did you actually just send me? Nothing, nothing sent. I'm showing a baby. Oh, uh, he's got his uh, camera. Oh, it's a kitty. It's a kitty. With the Gracie. Yes. Oh, Gracie! She really does like the... Um, wait, where is this? Is this our room or is this the tree? That's a room. I couch. Couch. Wall. couch, all right. He's literally the angel on my shoulder right now. <laughs> It looks like the top of her ear is flattened out. It got chopped when she got fixed. Ah. Uh, mm. Why? To tell this cat is fixed or not. I don't know it's why. Essentially, it helps. Uh, in case she ever got out and we couldn't find her, it tells like animal control, like, oh, just at a glance. Okay, this one is fixed or neutered or whatever. Uh, I have things. I find this highly questionable, but I'll leave this for once the stream's over. Nothing bad, I just have... Six million questions? A... No, just a joke that might not be appropriate. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so let's start um, doing the final touches to this line art. Um, this is starting to look pretty... Oh, wait! Wait! I'm, I'm using, I'm, I'm going the other way around, I'm going the other way around for this, um, scale up, not scale down. We're trying to bolden up the line. To be fair, that is Mickey's preference. No! No! Wait, no! no! I mean... But the joke was right there. Hey. And uh, for your, for the context, Jack's a dragon. Um, when I say tree, I meant the cat tree. Ah, yes, the scratching post. Mhm. Mm I tell you that um, uh, 
I'm actually glad that our cats were actually making use when it comes to that tree bit mm -hmm. by bit most because most of the time their go-to scratching pose is actually the couch and I really mm -hmm. I wish they didn't they picked a tree but no in their um, early in their life they'd like to say hey that's a nice looking um, that's a nice looking thing and they decided to go ahead and do, use the couch as a scratching pose why? Mood. So, see, when when Steve and um I got the word that my folks are coming in about next week, we decided to just um bite the bullet, get not only um a big plunge on our wallet, <laughs> but we also used the time to actually um buy ourselves um some some go to some um a couch cover in order to help cover up the couch because one side of the arm is um well i don't know how to politely say this decimated decimated so yeah we actually um took the time to get ourselves a couch cover and by some sheer miracle so far so far the um, the cats were not actually scratching that thing up. But I'm, but I don't have, but I'm not holding my, but, but I'm not, um, having, but I'm having a little bit of doubts, though, that this is going to last. It feels like that's the calm before the storm. I thought you made Christmas tree. We, Steve and I have yet to actually get a Christmas tree set up in our place because things have been busy. It's Not to mention Christmas trees this year are super fucking expensive. Mm. What, you mean the fake Christmas tree or the actual Christmas tree? Yes. Oh. But we have a tree in the closet though. It's in my den. I guess we'll have to resort to that. I know you don't like fake ass Christmas trees, but hey. I got. Hey, listen. I got. If I may advocate for one thing with fake Christmas trees, you don't have to clean up all the pine needles. It's There's also substantially less fire hazard. We just need to keep Precisely. it away from the cats. Ah, uh, yes. The cat. The cat's eternal crusade against uh, trees. Christmas trees. Yeah, cats, um, if you're not careful, can go into different places. And one of the, and Christmas tree is pretty much the next big shiny toy for them to actually play with. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, let's see. Let's turn off that ink, and I think she's coming together. You know what? I know I said to myself that we'll end this thing after, um, after doing the colors, but, um, I mean, after doing the inks, but I think we'll do the colors, and then we'll call it a day. Sounds good. I'm feeling, sure? little, I'm feeling a little bit better compared to how I was earlier. Hey, I got a... If you're feeling a little better, I got a, I got a little joke to lighten the mood. No? Go for it. You ever hear the one about two painters who were playing poker? What? It ended in a draw. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure, Mickey? I am positive. I'm I'm getting a little bit better after um hearing all that that. Maybe because um how we changed the topic actually helped elevated the mood a little bit. And plus, it's call it pig-headed stubbornness who actually wants to um, do something for her situation before calling it a night. I like to live life on the edge. Mm -hmm. But I will say this, though, because... Um, and besides, I want to end my last streaming uh, art stream of the year in a good note. Um... I will say this, there are some projects on the horizon I can't wait to actually um, actually do for you guys. And one of them is like, um, 
bringing back more pals to plushies, so that way you guys will actually see who gets plushified. There's also... Um, I need to do that. I need to do that myself. I need to get the paper pals going again. There's also taking um, fret, no, standard o OCs from my friends and turning them into D <laughs> characters. And... There's also um, designing NPCs, good and bad, that that exist for, that um, that are tied to my characters' stories as well as everyone else's. Mm. And finally, is um, designing a very particular character in their uh, and what they look like from the beginning of their adventure. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I really hope that you guys actually um, are prepared when that when that day actually comes. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Okay, two tones. So, I will say this. Um, this look is going to definitely bring back. Um, it's gonna be a major callback to my previous. Uh, no. Okay, brain, say so. Get these words right. I will say this this character design is gonna be one major callback, if you will. Mm. Mm hmm. I have a feeling that our old fans, are when they see this design, they're gonna have a field day. <laughs> See, now you've got me intrigued. All mm. right. All right. Okay. Do you want me to just say it as is, or should I actually wait for it for that day comes? Up to you. Mm, surprise me. All right. Let's just say I am going to make a D&D &D rendition of... Do I even have that kind of set? I know it's been six million years. <laughs> I don't even know if I have that um, outfit set. She... Do I have it? No, I, I don't have it. Oh, I don't really have the full body of the... Mm. Well, that's kind of a little bit of the upsetting side. <laughs> Okay, maybe if I go into the screenshot folder, if I, I'm, it is a stretch and a half, but, um, do I have it there? Do I have it among the, okay, okay, I, um, okay, that's one, that's one, that's one so far. Do I have, um, one that's on a standalone? Hey, listen! Yes, Jaxa Dragon? That is a drag on. <laughs> of course you would make that joke. But that's a good one. No, no, no. Oh, my chin chin. Where is it? That's the only one? Okay, alright. I guess I'll have no other choice. I, I have no choice. I, I have no choice. Okay. You're spooking me, hun. I, I did not spook at people. I I send them to anticipation. <laughs> Honey, it's like that whole discussion of, are you a top or a bottom? I'm a threat. She's a bottom. I believe what you're referring to is I, is I identify as a threat. Mm. <laughs> 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 okay. Had to be done. Had All to be right. done. All right. This is the only... Okay. This screenshot I got from my Gmod folder is the only one that... <laughs> oh, hey, hey. <laughs> Okay, this one from my Gmod folder is the hint. Okay. Let's see what you are referring to. Um. 
Are you putting this in Discord or on Twitch? I'm putting it in the open chat. Okay. Fair enough. Ah, I see. Yep. Like I said, old fans of mine, if they actually are still around, will have a field day when they actually see this. Mm-hmm. So, thoughts, questions, death threats? Hang on, let me... Uh, sorry, I just got a message from my sis. Let me see what this is. What? There are multiple possibilities with this. Also, you if a girl is a bottom and a boy is a top, and I want to meet, and, and, and uh, wait, now, okay, I'm gonna continue where I am. Lift up, now carry on. Okay. <laughs> okay, so blue eyes, which is two shades of. A warp blue, but this is going to be a fixed blue. Wait a minute. Dark first, bef dark first before no, Mickey, Mickey. There you go, Mickey. You good? Yeah. Um. I I almost done goof when it comes to these eyes. Well done. Hey, I am gonna. I'll have you know I'm able to fix them, you know? Let's see. Now, lips. It could be just about anything, but I'm gonna use um, this one I use for Nestle <laughs> lipstick. You're good. Although, there is one kind of art stream I actually wanted to do, but I have a feeling this is going to be the most chaotic of all art streams. Do tell. Um, let chat decide, uh, let chat design a character. Oh, uh, that's going to be chaotic. That is going to be chaotic. And I remember- Wait, how will you even, how will you even determine how to- uh, which opinions to go with? Do you, like, put it to a vote, or...? Well, I imagine it'll end up going to a vote. There is a vote, and there's going to be a template that uh, helps you, um, helps design a character. I know there is one, um... I know there is a template out there that actually helps, um, when it comes to character design. But I'm trying to figure out, for the life of me, what that template is. I know Cory once used it for her streams, but, um... Ah! Here we go. Um, this is a... a the, here we go. This is that kind of template. There it is. This is one of the many templates. It's not the same one, but it's this one. Here we go. This is gonna be the most chaotic art streams that'll happen on that day. You want us to design a character? I am good. I am just gonna let chat actually help design a character. But I, I will go over this bit by bit. Simple as that. Mm. Uh. <sighs> I think you would need like a series of polls and such. Oh yeah, de definitely. Once chat actually gave me um, reoccurring, um, uh, reoccurring um, elements, that's gonna be the one that'll be used for voting. Mm. Okay, so... But yes, I have a feeling this will be a fun and chaotic stream. Wait a minute! Enhance. Oh, fuck's sake! 
I What's up? I forgot a I, I forgot a, a piece of the collar. There we go. Goober. No! I'm not! I'm not a Goober! Yeah! Goober! No! Yeah! I'm not a Goober! Yeah! You're a goofy Goober. Reoccurring element, isn't it? Well, now that you've uh, proven that you're very weak to the word goober, yes. <laughs> hey. is this, uh, this is, is this my, is this my legacy now? Is this my legacy now for, for all time? For all my... Ugh. Okay. Certainly like it. I certainly like it more than the other thing that uh, a certain mummy likes to reference. You know what? Fair enough. I I'll allow it. I'll allow it for this one time. Try di uh, try Dinker instead. Huh? Eh? I I I don't know. This is flying over my head. I don't get it. Me either. We're, I, we are just as lost as a camel in, in the Antarctic. Mm. Yeah, that tracks. Okay. Boots as this. And legs as this. And I'm go and I'm hoping to God I actually got that um pattern ready on standby. Okay, so this actually looks pretty better in my art style, not gonna lie. Mm. This is loads better. Okay, no, okay. If I could just, okay, um, paper texture. Ah, there it is! My mother told me you are, wait, hold on. Let me gap that. My mother told me you're it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just found a Jeff, Jun a Jeff, Jeff Dunham uh, skit. Fair enough, babe. <laughs> it's the one with a little bit. <laughs> you have a dog? Yeah? What kind? The pain in the ass kind. <laughs> What'd you name him? Little bastard. Why'd you name him that? I just think it's funny to just say, come here, little bastard. Okay, so one of your patterns will definitely fit the bill. No, no. Oh, wait. It looks close enough. Hmm. Yeah, close enough. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm most likely going to take care of the rest of this um, on my own own time I think <laughs> okay gentle dragon that's a good one my mother told me you are on it <laughs> all right I guess I did well when it comes to this commission this is the first step of working up for a reference sheet commission, but the dynamic pose will always have to go first before I do the front and back pose. This is a con um, divide and conquer kind of um, tactic when it comes to reference sheets. And as much as I want to continue more of this, I'm tapped. 
So, Fair enough. why don't we actually go and figure out who we go raid today? Okay. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like anyone on my end is, uh, is Fair. worth, uh, going to see. It's either Jack's a dragon. Oh, no, no. It's either Red, Red Claw or Fairbanks. You know what? Red Claw. Red, Red Claw? We have Red... Yeah. Well, we have Red Claw. I don't know Fairbanks, honestly. I like Fairbanks. They're currently working on a live 2D, um, a live 2D model. Hmm. Oh? Fairbanks makes them? Yeah. I mean... Huh. Like, I'll, have to, no. I'll have to keep that in mind. No, like Fairbanks VT, you know, the guy who design um, the person who designed, um, Death by Snoo Snoo meme. What? Yeah, that was a thing! And they're actually really known for their, um, for their, um, Don Bluth-esque style. Mm. And, well, let's go and, ha let's go and raid Fairbanks. Okay. Okay, so this is gonna be my second to last stream done for this year. I hope that tomorrow things will be a little bit better and we will actually get to play some Monster Hunter World. But if things go tits up, there's always gonna be some seven stand user. Yeah, I'm personally hoping for Monster Hunter World. Hopefully, we won't have any interruptions. I really hope so, too, because I love Monster Hunter World. I just don't like the issue that we faced through last week. Well, mm. yeah, to be no, fair, yeah, there was literally the whole game going down, so... Yeah, yeah, this is true. But, so, yeah, but and as such, today is coming to a close, and I really hope that you enjoy today's stream. It's an up and down day, unfortunately, but what can you do? We all have days like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. So no streams for Christmas and New Year's weeks? Yeah, because I'm taking the two weeks off because my family's here for a visit. And I want to spend time with them. Mm -hmm. So I hope to actually see you there tomorrow. So may you all have a good night. May you all eat well and rest well. And I'll see you guys next time in the Paper Plane Inn. Take care! Good night, everybody.